so I've just got back from my first summer holiday of this year. I've still got my flip flops on, my sunglasses, and I still reek of Factor 50 sun cream. So what better time to open the new Spooky Club box, which is the Spooky Summer Box. So of course it's come in this plastic wrapping, so I'm gonna open it up and actually get to the box itself. But is it me, or does this box look slightly bigger than usual? It seems to be slightly wider. That may be my imagination. Maybe they've put some bigger items in it. So here's the sticker on the front, which you see in a little island. Um, with some palm trees coming out and it does actually have a little moon up there so that's quite cute it's not sort of spooky as such but hopefully the things inside will be I did get some of you guys to predict what was going to be in this box because I have totally no idea at all and luckily this month I haven't actually seen any spoilers now I've had some like great suggestions come through such as like sunglasses and black towels um, and like umbrellas and things but I'm not sure how well they'd fit in here so we'll just have to see. See if I can open up a little bit quicker than the last one because it took me forever. Da -da -da. So here is the card that tells you everything that's in there and it says spooky summer So box. straight away on top there's lots of palm tree confetti and flamingos. Again they're not overly spooky but they're definitely quite cute and I'm sure I can find some purpose for these. Sorry if the lighting keeps changing, I'm having to use the sun as my light source. I am still house sitting. I'm gonna be, have to be quite careful as to where I'm gonna put these wormies. But there's definitely a lot less wormies than usual. I'll put them over here. Straight away, I am so excited. I can see a patch in here. I can see something with bats on. So I'm gonna start with this one. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not, I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared at all. I've seen something else. Ah. Oh. Right, I'm gonna start off with this um, skull bat print holiday bag. Oh my God, look at this. It's a really big sort of beach bag, big string arms, and it's covered in bats and skulls. Straight away, so excited about this. I'm gonna take the time now to remind you that this spooky box um, costs 21 pounds a month. I'm sure in some shops, a bag this size would easily cost you 20 pounds to start with. So I've already felt like I've got my money worth and I've already seen some other stuff that's in there. So I absolutely adore this print, it's so cool. I love how it's got bigger skulls and smaller ones. Even though the skulls in the background are pink, it's not sort of like an overwhelming pink color. And of course it's covered in bats, so it's an instant win for me. This bag has big sort of rope handles and they seem really, really sturdy. Inside you've got the classic Spooky Box Club label and it doesn't have a zip or anything, but it is a mahoosive bag. Like big enough to fit everything you'd need to go down to the beach or even a day out And I'm totally gonna be using this throughout the year just for carrying books and stuff I feel like it's gonna be perfect for uni. So next up is a patch, which I totally love It's in really sort of pastel colors, but I think it is so so cute So it's an ice cream with a little skull face in it and it says scream across it Which is obviously a play on ice cream um, It's got little bones in the background now. It's not an iron-on patch, but this really doesn't matter It's, it's sort of it's, it's a good quality patch, but it's not too thick, so it will be quite easy to sew onto anything. And it's very light and colourful. Like it's one of these patches where it's not straight away obvious what it's all about and what it says, but when you look at it, it's so, so detailed and it's so pretty. Next up, I've just pulled out the lolly, which is apple fizz flavour, which I'm sure will be very exciting. As always, I will do a taste test at the end to tell you how this tastes. So next up is a keyring and this looks so cool it's in the shape of a coffin it is double sided so i'm going to take it out and it's quite a large key ring. made out of this rubbery material so it's made to look almost like a room key so it says lost souls the motel <laughs> tree lane nowhere and then it has the number 13 which i guess is meant to be the room number it says drop in any mailbox we guarantee postage not quite sure what that's all about and then it's got a little skull here and it says spooky box club and on the other side, it says step inside, you'll never want to leave. And again, it says spooky box club at the bottom. This is a really cool little key ring. Well, quite big key I'm ring. sure I'll find a home for this. It's not overly heavy or anything. It's just quite large, as you can see. It's like almost the size of my hand. But I really like this and I haven't seen anything like this before and it definitely kind of looks like a sort of key ring that you'd have on a holiday key. Already we've got coffins, we've got bats and we've got a patch so I'm absolutely loving this box. And next up, oh my god there's still loads of stuff in here. Next up is this slightly bigger thing which says coffin waffle towel. Now I have just filmed a haul from H&M where I got these really cool towels with skulls all over them. This is what I think it is. This is gonna go so well with those towels. Oh my goodness, it is a mahoosive towel. This towel is never ending. 
<gasps> okay. I'm slightly confused. Uh, hang on. What? So hopefully you were somewhat able to see what I was talking about, but it is in a coffin shape. Now the reason why I was slightly confused is it's not like an overly like perfect coffin shape. Like it starts off um, sort of in at the top and then it goes out only slightly at the corner. And um, you can see there's a bit of a, a point here and then it just sort of tapers down really thin to the bottom. But I really like this. It's quite a thin towel. So it would be perfect for the beach either to wrap around you because it's super long or even just to lay down on the floor and shade bathe on. So I've only got three more things left in here. There's two um, things in little velvet bags and this. So I'm going to do this first. And this is a skull fan, a spooky skull fan, in fact. Okay, so this is one of those, oh, that is so good. So this is not like the conventional fan shape. It's one of those fully solid fans. And of course it's in this really cute little skull face with a little heart nose. And he's got really cute eyes. It's on this kind of like plastic lollipop stick. You're able to just fan yourself and keep yourself cool in the summer. He's got like a slight shine to him and he's quite thick, but he's not thick enough that I feel like he would bend. I mean, possibly he could snap, but he is super flexible because he's meant for fanning around. I feel like this is almost like a little bit of a gimmicky thing to have in there. I'm not sure how many people would actually use this out in public. I may be wrong, but I feel like this is more something I just have at home ready to fan myself when I'm feeling slightly warm. I come to think of it, one of you commented and predicted that there'd be a fan, a towel and a beach bag. So whoever that was, I feel like you have someone on the inside who's giving you sneak previews. I've got these two little bags left. Now, this one is a pin, so I'm gonna open this one first. I absolutely love pins and I've been collecting all of the spooky box pins so I'm really excited to see this one and I love the bags that they're putting these pins in I think they are so nice and they're such a good quality I've actually been using them for putting crystals in and things and also giving away like when I've got little gifts and trinkets I'm giving to people I put them in these tiny bags oh this is so cute okay so again it's really summery still super spooky um it's like a little like pineapple drink a little umbrella and a straw coming out of it but it's being held by a skeleton hand and this one again is on a sort of clasp back my only thing that i don't like a hundred percent about this gold but it doesn't really matter too much when it's a pin because once you put it on you can't really tell and it all just kind of looks shimmery and shiny anyway but it's such a good quality and i'm so pleased with this Ooh, change of scenery. I had to come upstairs because the sun kept moving and I was fed up of having to keep changing the setting on my camera every two seconds. So we just had this one little bag left, so I'm just gonna open it up and see what's inside. Oh, it looks like a bracelet. There's lots of little skulls on it, so I'm guessing it's a bracelet. Oh, it must be an anklet because I feel like this would be a very big bracelet. So basically it's got four little skulls on a chain. And we've got little painted eyes. I think they're all painted yeah, they're all just painted black, although it's kind of showing up slightly reddish on camera. It's a really simple bracelet. It does have um, a few different options for how long you'd like it to and be. It's silver, which is a good start. Just looking at the actual like loops um, and bits of this chain, they don't seem to be the best quality. So I don't know if this would be sort of an everyday anklet, let but just see if it fits, shall we? So I've got it on the tightest setting, but it's still like super, super big for me so I'm not quite sure if I can get it any tighter because then the chain gets really really thin. I can't actually get it any tighter which is super annoying so I will insert a clip now of what it looks like in its current state. Please excuse all of the scabby stuff I have around my ankles. I spent a lot of time outside this last week and there's been a lot of midges. So I'm probably going to have to get out my joy making kit and make this chain a little bit smaller and edit it a bit so I can get it on properly because at the moment I feel like it's just going to be too annoying it being that large. I have been wearing my little Spooky Box Club um, ghost necklace which I got from the ghost box and that one has actually lasted really well. I was really worried that they were going to tarnish and change colour but I believe they're made out of stainless steel and I've been wearing my silver little ghosty constantly and I've been in the shower, it's been raining, I even went swimming in the sea with it. 
with it recently and it's been absolutely fine so I feel like the material that they use for their bracelets and their necklaces and their anklet is actually a really good quality material. But you so definitely can tell that you're getting good quality items for your money. So I've got the little um, thing here and at the top it says the summer box is inspired by road trips and holidays days out by the sea hikes camping in the woods exploring and making memories even if you are not a huge fan of the sun planning a spooky vacation is great fun inside you'll find seven custom items to take with you on your adventures wherever they might be don't forget to pack some snacks and a creepy book or two for the road. So that's really nice and cute. And again, they are raising money for cancer research. Now, I will definitely be taking some of these things on my next holiday, which I think is in about two weeks' time, so it's not too long. Um, I'm really, really pleased with this box. I didn't have very high hopes for it. When I saw the original Instagram post that said that there was going to be a spooky summer theme box, I have to admit I was slightly disappointed because this is only the second box that I've officially subscribed to, even though I've done a few other boxing so I kind of was a bit like oh not too looking forward to that because to me summer is completely the opposite of everything I love I'd prefer like a winter box or an autumn box but alas I am so so pleased with this and every item was actually really spooky and I think this was even more spooky than the actual black cat box which was the original one I was super excited for now talking of taking creepy books I've just found out that one of the next themes for this is a haunted library so the next box I'll be opening in September September is going to be the vampire box and then the October box is going to be the haunted library so I'm hoping the haunted library yeah haunted library so I'm hoping that there's going to be some kind of Halloween-y items in there as well because I was expecting a kind of Halloween themed box I don't actually remember what this box did around Halloween last they year they did an Xmas box but I don't know if they specifically do any other um holidays throughout the year but we'll just have to see so I'm actually really excited for the next two boxes especially the vampire one which is coming up so I'm hoping it's going to have some and bats in it and things so I'll just go through everything that I got in this box so it's all custom made as well so it's not got any kind of bonus gifts like they have been doing in the other boxes so the first one's a coffin shaped towel or throw um, a holiday bag with rope handles a fan a tropical enamel pin um, a spooky motel room inspired key which was the coffin chip key ring the dainty skull anklet an ice cream sew-on patch and the gourmet lollipop so I'm really pleased with everything that I got there now I am going to try out this lollipop and see if it actually tastes like apple fizz. Got into that a lot quicker than last time. This is definitely the f my favourite flavour that I've had yet of the Spooky Box lollipop. This definitely has quite like a sour apple taste to it which is really nice. I'm not too sure where the fizz bit comes in. It tastes, i tell you what it tastes like. It tastes exactly like the Tango apple drinks. I and it's turned my tongue green. So now that I've tried this lollipop, I can safely say that I absolutely adore this box and I have loved every single item that I've got out of it. But if you guys get the chance to buy this box um, or you're getting this box in the post, there's definitely a lot of things to get excited for. And I feel like I definitely got way more than my money's worth. As I said, I probably would have paid around 20 pound for even like the towel or the bag by itself. Mm. If you've got any questions or comments about Spooky Bots, please do leave them in the comments down below. Again, I was so pleased with this box. It was definitely up to my ideal spooky level, and I'm so excited for next I time. I hope that you're having a lovely week. If it's still sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade, and I will see you next time. Bye!